All right, that concludes this video series of uh, how I built these shop cabinets. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it for the most part. Um, I will say that, uh, just one comment I wanted to make that if you saw I was wearing a pair of black gloves when cutting the melamine, the reason I was doing that is that, um, number one, I absolutely hate melamine. I hate it with a passion, but I used melamine because it was cheap. Um, total budget build in this job was about $225 including the 26 inch 100 pound drawer guides um, but the reason i was using the black gloves is they're like a nitrile kind of like a mechanics glove um, to protect the hands from getting cut up and reason i say that um, it's it's important to kind of protect your hands with that is the edges on that stuff when you cut it is such a square corner it is razor sharp uh, if you slip your hand across it guaranteed to get a good cut and to the point where you get, get some blood if you're not careful um, I did have a minor cut on a fingertip not wearing the gloves um, doing something but that's the only reason I was wearing the gloves if you watch me work in the shop otherwise I don't wear gloves during any of the, the handling or cutting operations but um, I did for this point on the melamine just for simple reason I wanted to protect my hands. That was the reason why I was wearing gloves. Uh, I know it's not safe to wear gloves while you're on the saw because there's a risk of you know the material getting caught in the saw blade. Totally understand that. Um, but like I said, at the same time, I also wanted to protect my hands just from getting cut up from the sharp edges of melamine because the edge of a melamine uh, piece of sheet stock is extremely sharp. So. Um, if you do work with it or if you haven't worked with it and planning on working with it because it's cheap, just keep that in mind because it's they're sharp. Sounds like we're getting a little rain right now. Um, other than that, uh, I have the cabinets loaded up already. I do not have the top drawers filled here yet, but I got the bottom one filled with um, a brace of paper for the shop here. Some boxes of 5-inch PSA pa uh, paper that we use for the orbital sander. Um, sanding belts for the belt sander this one is um basically shop supplies um rags for finishing more abrasive pads painters tape got some back there um in the event of i have to finish cabinets i have a finished interior white melamine i have to use paper which is just my favorite job in the whole world i mean i wish i could tape all of my cabinets off not really i hate it um, and then these two cabinets are pretty much dedicated to cabinet hardware. This one is hinges. Um, I have a lot of leftovers from the 38N bloom hinges that do not have the soft close. And most every job that is done here uses a soft close 38Ns now. So I still have, uh, you know, probably, uh, 50 of those. And then I have some um, that are 38 and knockoffs, which are the hardware resources that I actually used on these cabinets to start burning them up that I had gotten when I got the hinge boring machine. Uh, the guy had just given them to me and said, here, take these as with. So I took them. Um, the one thing I did do that I'm kind of proud of 
is I still would buy occasionally um, a bunch of these 170 degree um, opening bloom clip top hinges for lazy Susan doors in a corner cabinet and uh, there are two components there's the hinge and then there is the mounting plate rather than have them loose what I did was I prepackaged them in these six by nine four mil plastic poly bags in groups of two so they're a pair so well, next time I do a corner cab I can just grab a bag and I have everything I need here except for the screws which I have organized in a different location and this one here is all for the most part obsolete cabinet hardware or cabinet drawer slides um, back in the early early part of the 2000s um, if the customer wanted full extension, we'd default to the zinc or anachrome style from Knapp and Voigt or Waterloo at the time was, was a brand, and Accurite. The thing with Accurite is it was probably twice as expensive as Knapp and Voigt. And so the time is I was actually buying bulk. I'd buy like full cases, like maybe two cases at a time, then I don't have to buy any for a while. As a result of that, I have a bunch of 16 inches, 14 inches, 18 inches, and a couple cases of 22 inches. Um, and even back then, if it wasn't full extension, I would use the Bloom um, 230M series, which would come in a big box like this here. So you'd have your left side cabinet, left side drawer, right side cabinet, right side uh, drawer, uh, and some orientation like that. Well, it was actually took the time to wrap these together as pairs and uh, just mark them what they are because I don't remember the last time I actually ever used these. But for some reason, I have an overload of 16 inch and 14 inch drawer guides of the Bloom 230Ms, and I have no idea what I have 14s for. I have not a clue. 16s I might have ordered at one time because I might have had a couple of 18 inch vanities. I know my brother's house had an 18 inch vanity in the basement and that's 12 years ago. So these are probably at least that old. Um, other than that, like I said, it's all miscellaneous. Now the one thing that I had adapted when the market had collapsed in the early part of 2008, I reevaluated as far as what I was buying for hardware and what I was keeping in stock. And with the changes in the hardware as well, um, everyone wanting the soft close, I started buying the Blue Motion prior to the market collapse. And after the market had collapsed, basically I was just buying what I needed. So I was doing the lean manufacturing or the just-in-time manufacturing. If a job required uh, three pairs of drawer guides, uh, Blue Motion tandems for say a vanity, I would buy three, I wouldn't buy a case of six. Because at the same time, then I wouldn't have to store it. Other than that, um, I'm actually very pleased as far as how well this actually turned out. Um, you know, the finishing end of it, um, I used a um, just an all-in-one paint and primer I had laying around the shop that I did some painting inside the shop here with um, within the last year or so. And uh, I used that as kind of the color coat. And then I revisited the Valspar Zenith um, waterborne pre catalyzed lacquer as a final coat and I had a lot better results on it now than what I did when I did the video um, for the Valspar Zenith waterborne uh, finish series and overall I was actually quite impressed these look really good but I don't think they would hold up um, to the standard household abuse so um, they're, they're good shop cabinets and you know, at the beginning of the video, I says building cheap cabinets, and they are cheap. If you're going by looks, they look nice, but um, as far as function, they function the way they're supposed to, but as far as quality, um, they're a budget build. So, and that was the intention. I did not want to um, use materials I had here in the shop that I could actually turn around and make something for a customer and make something high end and, and actually get paid for it versus um, buying some cheap materials from the local box stores and building these cabinets and just making them look nice. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video series, give you a little bit better perspective as far as, you know, um, how we make cabinets for the most part. But uh, first of all, I don't make them out of melamine and typically I don't nail the face frames on as well, but because it was paint to melamine, um, I got by with that. Other than that, um, as far as the door construction, that's a uh, standard process. The drawer construction is not. Um, 
I don't, like I said, don't do melamine, but just for the sake of the video, I did uh, melamine drawers as well. Uh, a lot of small shops do use melamine. I'm just not one of them. So, but it's a nice clean look, I guess. Each to their own. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. And uh, if you want to know more about it, I'll probably do some more videos once I maybe get this far, which could be another six months down the road. I'm not sure. But uh, hope you guys like it. Questions and positive comments are welcome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.